this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite recipes and the hubby would put it in his top five of his all time favourite recipes that I make for him and that is slow cooker stuffing. Slow cooker stuffing is absolutely amazing. You can mix and match with different types of stuffing and it just needs a quick stir halfway through in the slow cooker and it comes out perfectly and it's also great for making a head for Christmas and Thanksgiving and you can then keep it on keep warm so that you can serve it with your turkey dinner and it's just brilliant and we often have it when we've got some spare sausage meat in and we just fancy some proper homemade stuff in it's just delish so you're probably wondering if it's his favourite, then the ingredients list has to be really, really complicated. But you'd be amazed by how simple this is. I mean, this is a simple recipe. You need plenty of sausage meat. You can make a small portion if you want. I absolutely love um, the pork sausage meat from Tesco's. Or if I'm near the butchers, I'll grab some from the butchers. But I've been cooking loads and I've gone through all my butcher's supplies, so we just picked up some of these. So if you're feeding less of a mouthful, you can just do one, but we're actually doing two in this recipe. And then they always say, don't they, everything tastes better because of the butter. Yep, we've got butter in this recipe as well. We're using unsalted butter, but you can use salted. I just could not be bothered to send the hubby out to buy one lot of salted butter for this recipe and some unsalted for some desserts that we were doing. So I just said, I'll just get me three blocks of unsalted. To send the hubby out to buy one lot of salted butter for this recipe and some unsalted for some desserts that we were doing. So I just said, I'll just get me three blocks of unsalted. And then beyond this, uh, some onion, some leek. I mean, you might not have had leek in stuffing before, but it's absolutely delicious. You see, it gives it a lovely crunch to it and it gives it a bit more texture. And you can do the same with celery as well. Uh, but the kids, I don't think they'd speak to me again if I put celery in their stuffing. So leeks is the in-between. And I think they assume it's onion when it's not. And then plenty of bread. So I've got three slices. If you've got a bread loaf out and you're not quite going to get through it all, to put some extra ones in the freezer. And then when you are making things like stuffing, croutons in the air fryer or something else, you've got your supply. And then also because uh, sausage meat is quite sticky, to give it some texture, we also recommend adding in some breadcrumbs as well. And then for seasonings, I know I'm very typical with my seasonings, apologise for that now. Salt, pepper, mixed herbs and thyme. Or as you call it in Spain, it's tomillo and it's just brilliant for adding some texture. It's not as harsh on the teeth for, as rosemary is because I know a lot of people complain, especially when you're getting a bit older. I mean, I'm in my 40s now, rosemary stuck between the teeth, not great. But the mixed herbs is brilliant because there's so many different varieties. Um, what I actually have here is these are technically not mixed herbs. These are actually bouquet garni. Uh, but the mixed herbs that they sell at the supermarket, the husband's allergic to them. So we normally get a load of bouquet garni. But bouquet garni, mixed herbs, Italian seasoning, they're all incredibly similar. And you could even mix and match with some parsley and some basil or another favourite seasoning of yours. It's just brilliant. So now that I've run through the ingredients, I think we need to get started. So first things first, let's clear up some space here so I can show you how I make it. So we've got our two packs of sausage meat here. Sausage meat looks brilliant. That's one lot. Second lot. Oh, I should ask, this recipe is easier when your butter is softened, but you literally just come back from the supermarket, so ours is like a rock. So, slice it open. Oh, 
full recipe instructions and uh, full recipe ingredients like your measurements and a free principal recipe card are over on recipe this so if you just want to head over there oh we always have the link in the video description as well so you want to add in some of the butter it doesn't melt, matter where it goes because as it melts it'll all mix in nicely and then the onion and then once you chop your onion right into the slow cooker like that and then add in your breadcrumbs always get some that stick to the bottom don't you and then after that let me talk to you about what i do with the bread so with the bread all you really need is for it to be in chunks i find it easier and quicker to do three full slices at once And then you're looking for slices that are a bit like that. Then load them up. Right, so you've got all the bread in there now. Might as well do the seasoning and then we can prepare the leek. So what's the time? Mixed herbs. Plenty of salt. plenty of pepper and then last but not least your leek so you don't need a full leek so I'm going to save the rest of that for another recipe so literally that's all you need I'm cleaning my chopping board because I mean it's just got breadcrumbs in it those same breadcrumbs are in the slow cooker anyway so now I just need to save it so that I can give the leeks a quick wash really big one it was way too big for the leak but it's my favorite set it comes uh, stackable as well so it doesn't take up much room when it's in my cupboard as you can see that's the perfect size there for some leeks so let's go and give them a quick wash so now we've got the rinsed leeks and they're the last ingredient to go in and what I've done is I've avoided turning on my slow cooker because I want to get my hands in and I want to get them dirty. And even though they cook on slow, sometimes when I've turned them on beforehand and it's taken me like 10 minutes to prep for this, uh, the bottom of it's actually been quite hot on my hands. So I've just left it like this this time. So you want to give it all a good mix. Find your stuff in that'll be in the bottom of your pot. The butter won't blend into it right now because it was quite quite hard it wasn't softened but if it's softened it'll all stick very very nicely to it right so once you've dabbed your hands dry look at that it's all ready now to go on so all you need now is to pop your lid on we're going with three hours here on high and then I recommend stirring it at the halfway mark because it stops it sticking at the at the bottom. But the butter does a brilliant job of keeping your slow cooker non-stick. So then you're ready to go. So the time's now up on the slow cooker stuffing. We gave it a bit of a stir halfway through. And wow, doesn't this stuffing look amazing? And if you use a little bit less butter, you can also get more of a crisp on the bread. Or what I like to do sometimes is put the bread in first on its own and it just makes it lovely and crispy. And it doesn't have to be stale bread that you use here, it can be either. So let me show you something. Oh, doesn't that look brilliant for stuffing? And you believe stuffing in the slow cooker. It's just brilliant. And it's one of those things, you know, when you when it's Christmas or it's Thanksgiving, it's oh what can I get over and done with? What can I make ahead? Well you can make ahead stuffing. You could cook it overnight on the slow setting instead. Um, you could make it in this pot and then put it on keep warm. It's just brilliant as an all-rounder. Well, I've been cooking some other things today in the uh, using the air fryer. So on here we've got uh, some hunter's chicken, some air fried potatoes and some air fried collie. So it's just perfect for us 
whilst we're recording these videos to serve up for our lunch with some stuffing. It's just lovely. And this stuffing, we should take it home and share with the kids. We kind of want it to ourselves, is that wrong? So there you go, that is it, plated up there with some other sides. And to prove that you can make wonderful stuffing in the slow cooker at home, you know, it's one of those easy ones. You don't need to have to use a packet mix unless you want to, of course. You know, and it's just so simple. And it's also great for when it, when Thanksgiving or Christmas are over and done with and they've got a really special deal on the sausage maker supermarkets to try and get rid of it all. You can make some of this and you could even freeze it if you wanted to as well. So enjoy your stuffing. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter, as well as following us on Pinterest and Facebook and joining our Facebook group. We are also on TikTok now, so don't forget to follow us at TikTok forward slash recipe this.